Hi everybody. Um, this is just another instalment of the uh, the PC generated 405 lines and the modulators. Um, this this is the band one modulator up here. But today I'm using the channel 11 modulator that is broadcast standard as we can see. Um, so we're using that today. Um, we've now completed this board which has got the, the Peter circuit in it uh, using the two chips for uh, generating the broad, broad pulses that we require. So we have now got that set up on the scope, um, perfectly spot on. Adjustments dead easy, uh, came in absolutely fine. So uh, absolutely really, really pleased with that. And the, the waveform now is, is back to the way it should be. On the Murphy, we have a result and it's extremely good. The Murphy, of course, unfortunately, well, well hang on until I turn down the, the, the levels here, we might be able to get uh, a better result. On the phone, it might not ban so much. Let's see, I think today it doesn't want to play the game. Oh dear, that's a shame. <laughs> okay, never mind. Uh, good results. Interlace is now bang on, spot on. No problem at all with it. Same on the, the, the TMB. Um, this has got a, a replacement tube in it, uh, a Regun CRM93, it's actually a little bit shorter than what it should be and we can't get really good focus on it unfortunately, that's the, the downside, run it at uh, fairly low contrast and brightness, it's not too bad but as we can see we're running up the, the brightness and contrast, plenty bright, but it defocuses. I haven't checked these A1 voltage, but I don't think there'll be any wrong, anything wrong there, simply because that's directly off the boost line, and we've got uh, good width, we've got good EHT, so I think it's just something we're going to have to to possibly live with. Uh, I've tried moving the, the scan coil, sorry, the focus assembly backwards and forwards on its uh, uh, elongated slot, and this is the best position for it. Um, it may require less... Um, uh, A1 volts, it may require a bit more, um, that might be the cure, uh, but that's something I'll get round to some other day. But certainly this is now operating very nicely indeed, uh, beautiful pictures, uh, lovely definition, superb on videos, superb on YouTube, uh, really really chuffed with the way this works, I have to say it's excellent. Um, so yeah, something that probably people uh, should consider doing. Um, the bit of pattern in there that comes from the the, the two. They're, they're on the same frequency, so we tend to get a bit of pattern. Uh, I'll turn that off. I'll take that away. Um, so yeah, go for it if you can. Uh, get yourself a um, an ATI Radeon uh, XT uh, two four hundred card. Uh, put the mode lines in. Make up your little board and uh, feed it into a modulator. Um, it's extremely good if you put it in baseband. Oh, it's incredibly good. Uh, but there we go. This is the board here again. So uh, it's just, it's actually just about a matrix board and it's actually a bit rough to be fair. I'll show you the back. You know, it's done that way. Uh, I, I'll be going over the back of it, of course, with the uh hot melt just to just to, to secure everything in position but that's it working now lovely so i'm very happy with it and uh, thanks very much to peter uh, for the circuit and uh, uh, designing this little uh, insertion uh circuitry and also to all those that have uh, come up with all the the mode lines and all the uh, uh the different uh aspects of doing this um it's not hugely complicated um, if you can wield a soldering iron and you're quite good at it, well, uh, this is easy enough to make up. Uh, you know, I mean, my age and eyesight's actually not too bad for my age, I have to be to be honest, but with the, the, the aid of a small magnifying glass, the job is actually easy enough. Uh, so, yeah, anybody have a go at it, I would, uh, I would definitely uh, recommend it. Um, cheap way of getting 405. Um, I suppose the only thing that you may have is modulators. I was quite lucky in the respect that I had this channel 11 thing, which is, as I say, broadcast standard, wonderful, wonderful uh, output from it. And then I made up the rod pentode um, modulator uh, using two valves, um, and it works very well indeed, considering um, it's a relatively simple circuit. Um, and probably we're, we're not running the valves as they, pro as they should, you know, we'll have to put our hands up as that, but it does the job. It does. It works fine. Uh, there's no issues with the uh, cramping or anything like that, of or, or uh, 
that flag waving on the top so of the screen so it does actually do fine so in here now we have channel a uh, one and we have channel 11 the idea in actual fact is i want to try and record some material onto vhs um i'm getting given a couple of uh video recorders in the next week or two and i want to try and record um information onto that uh, and use that as well. So store like so videos which will be played on one of the modulators and the stuff that's off the uh, off the computer, the PC, etc., will be on the other channel. So that is the that is the uh, the, the plan. Um, some video recorders record four or five lines exceptionally well uh, with very little degradation. So uh, again, um, we're getting high quality signal from this. Um, into the video recorder so which is ideal uh, which is it well, in fact in some ways it's better than doing it any other way so there you go that's it that, that, that's fine um, didn't want to make this video much much longer to be fair and uh, I will uh, well hopefully we'll be able to do some other videos soon uh, regarding uh, the stuff we're doing um, we've got a TV 22 there we've got a TV 62 a V4 um, Sorry, I have E4, and we've got a, a nice uh, a TV24 here as well. The sunlight's coming in. It's quite bright today. It's a lovely day, actually. Underneath, we have a Russian set. So, And I've got some other stuff over the other side uh, as well. So there we go. So that's it. Um, job done. Happy. We'll get that little box put into a... Sorry, that board put into a box. And we'll, we'll, we'll make sure it's uh, perfectly safe. I wonder if it would help with more light. No. I don't know why this phone does this, and it's just had an upgrade, and it's actually it's actually worse. Yeah, it's actually worse than it was. But there we go. Such is life. Okay, thanks guys for uh, for watching. All the best, and uh, we'll catch up soon. Oh, incidentally, if you're not subscribing, please subscribe and press the notification bell for new videos, um, and you'll then be up to date with all the all the nonsense and rubbish that I do uh, in this uh, uh, department called a shed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, take care everyone. Bye for now. Bye-bye.